Hey guys, what's up? So today we're going to talk about some basics of PvP. I know this might be kind of early because the actual game's not out yet, it doesn't come out till 9-9, but I think there's some things that we can go over generally and of course once the game comes out most of the videos that I have made or will make up into the game, uh, we'll fine tune them and go over to add more details and whatnot. But I figured a nice little basics of PvP, something to, you know, get your mind thinking about, you know, things that you could do or could do better, or in case you didn't know any of these. If you've ever played any Halo game, you'll kind of be familiar with how Destiny's PvP works. First, you need to make sure you have the best weapons and armor equipped, otherwise you're going to die often and fast. Uh, I learned that with my Titan, I brought my Titan in. You know, as a level 5 with just some fucking shit gear that I found. And I, it, it was a challenge. It was a struggle to kill anybody. Especially because they were using, you know, one of those top 2 weapons that uh, more console was talking about earlier in his video. But, don't feel like you, you need to have the best gear to enter PvP because 1, you don't. And 2, you'll miss out on getting quality PvP gear in the process. So... Just because you think that you don't have the best gear doesn't mean you shouldn't try. Some general tips would be to make sure you use your mini-map. Your mini-map will always tell you where enemies are. Uh, it'll tell you if they're close by, you know, kind of how far away they are. So you really need to pay attention to this at all time. Uh, if it shows a red block, then they are... are really close uh, once you learn the maps you'll be able to predict where exactly they might be if they're like you know on a second floor above you or coming downstairs uh, on a ledge and those are things that you'll pick up on through you know as the game you know as time goes by or whatever if it's a thin red line you know on the outer edge uh, it's just telling you that they're kind of far away but they're within a reasonable range or your radar range so you know to be cautious because they're you know, someone might be cresting a hill or something like that. Learn the maps. This is critical for every player, whether you're casual, pro, whatever. Learning the maps and the main traffic lanes and flank routes are a must for any serious player and, and really any player at all. Uh, this allows you to kind of predict where people might be coming from, where to, you know, expect, you know, people to be at. Uh... You know, make sure, you know, if you're looking somewhere, then you know there's a flank route to your right, you know, so that way you can, you know, check your flank routes while looking down one of the hot routes or one of the main lanes. The first thing that I always do and I recommend to do is to run around the outside of the map until you get comfortable with them. This allows you to get used to the map and to find you know, the hot routes and, you know, the, the things that we were just talking about, flank routes, all that stuff. Uh, hopefully without dying as much what I found uh, especially when I played Call of Duty and you know back in my Halo days is that I would just stick to the outside of the map because everyone usually wants to rush to the center and just have some sort of melee deathmatch what running the outside of the maps does for me and would probably do for you is it limits how much ground you have to cover and protect yourself because one side of you is always going to be protected by the edge of the map. So that's not an area that you'd have to worry about. You mostly would have to focus, you know, between your front and depending on which way you go, your left or your right side. And, you know, and this allows because most players are going to want to try and get to the center of the map. So this allows you to basically get behind them and shoot the shit out of them. Uh, I found it, you know, incredibly helpful in Halo, you know, trying to learn the maps. And I did it in, you know, in Call of Duty from COD 4 all the way up to Ghost. That's what I would do. And it's, you know, it's very successful. For me, at least. I, I you know, I can't speak for everybody, but I definitely recommend trying it because it, it will help you out. Also, don't forget to use your supers. That was a big problem for me as I kept forgetting. Uh, as you'll notice, and uh, I'm not sure if I did it in this video too much, but uh, I, I would keep forgetting that I had a super to use and you know I wouldn't I only get like one or two a match and that can potentially cost you the match so don't forget about them but make sure you use them wisely uh, I found that Titans and Warlocks have the greatest advantage here both will be able to use their supers to clear out cap points and other objective areas so make sure 
if you're running with a team, it would be wise to coordinate that. So, you know, if you have a you know a Titan and a Warlock together, you know, the Titan can go in, fist to havoc the area, and uh, basically destroy everybody. And if there's any you know latecomers or people that were hanging outside, then the Warlock could come in with a uh, Nova bomb and uh, take care of the rest and clear out an objective point pretty easy. Make sure you move carefully. If you crouch walk, you'll be less likely to show up on radar. Like, it won't ping you as much. But if you camp, you'll get pinged by the radar as almost like a penalty for camping. So definitely keep that in mind. Because if you're camping, you're, you're still going to be on the radar. If, if you're running solo, well, you're just kind of fucked. Uh, especially because you can't communicate with other teammates. You know, like I had said previously, coordinating with your teammates. You can't really do that in Destiny because it's like whatever system they got going on allows it to where you can't communicate with your team like you would in any other multiplayer game. So that's kind of a, a downside there. But, uh, you know, just do what you can with what you got, I guess. Well, I don't want to make this too long. Like I said earlier, uh, you know, it was just the beta. So once the game comes out and we can play more and understand more, you know, I'll update this video, but until the final game comes out, and, you know, maybe I'll do like a, a series or, or something like that, uh, but I don't know, we'll see, and yeah, until then guys, I'll talk to you later, peace.